there? Yeah, I'm speaking. Biff, this is Brian Rademacher from Rock Eyes. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Great, great. How was breakfast? I don't have any breakfast. I'm on diet. Uh, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's get right to it. Um, tell me a little bit about Sacrifice, the new CD. Uh, everybody's telling me it's more powerful and uh, exciting than, um, I guess, other CDs that you put out before. And, you know, they're just saying it's really powerful. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's great actually. I mean, it's um, it's uh, you know, I wanted it to be more sort of uh, I don't know, a bit more from the heart, less from the head, so a lot less sort of uh, digital tricks on it, more um, you know, Gibsons and Marshalls really. Is how we can describe the way it was recorded. Cool, cool. Now, when you went into the studio to record the album, did you have a different mind frame, or um, you know? you know, thinking about doing this new CD? Well, I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be fairly modern, but I wanted it to uh, have the elements of the 80s as well. Right. Now, we went back there and I listened to, uh, you know, a few of the songs back then and sort of, uh, you know, just tried to think what, you know, tried to look what people liked about those albums and what sort of bands like Metallica and Megadeth, you know, found great. And, um, so we wrote a couple of songs in that style, really, you know, uh, Stand Up and Fight and uh, Warriors of the Road are really sort of, you know, I suppose they're really thrash metal songs. So, yeah, so, you know, we, we looked at our different, um, you know, styles of writing, really. Right, right. I mean, listening to the video, actually watching the, the latest video, uh, I mean, your, your vocals seem as powerful back from 79 un until now. It, it, do you do anything special? Uh, no, not really. Just, just, um, just look after yourself, really, and try and stay fit if you can. And um, yeah, you know, cool. just, just try and keep it together, really. Right, right. When back in '79, when the first Saxon album came out, um, you know, was there too much of a difference? I, I guess recording has to be a, a big difference uh, compared to back then. Um, is there any special things that, like you learned through the through the years? Yeah, I mean, you learn, you learn, I mean, obviously everybody knows what they're good at, you know, and we're not really, um, you know, experimenting too much with, uh, you know, different uh, playing playing techniques. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, things have changed, obviously. I mean, the digital thing has, 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 has given us, you know, it's given people more scope to experiment more and gives you more ability to track more tracks and try different things, you know. You know, when I'm doing vocals, I can keep a lot of vocals and listen to them later. Whereas, you know, in 1979, 1980, we were on 24 track. If you were lucky, 48 track, and uh, you know, you didn't have that. Um, you didn't have that sort of, uh, you know, luxury then. But having said that, you, you, it was a much more live. So, I suppose one thing, you know, you try and keep one thing and, and add the other thing to it. You know, so. We use all media, you know, we use all analog and we use digital, we use all sorts of things. Right, right. What, what's your feelings towards download compared to having that great big vinyl CD album, actually? Well, we, I mean, we're very lucky in our genre, aren't we? Because, you know, we do vinyls and you can download us and you can buy the product. So a lot of, a lot of fans want the product because you get the good booklet, you get the, the bonus CD, you know, you get all the, the lyrics on there and you get all the artwork. So... Uh, we're very lucky in that a lot of people buy our. I mean, I think I think Maiden and, and Motorhead and you know people like that. They're all the same. People like the product in their hand. Right. Uh, so you find that a lot of people download it and then buy it as well. You know. That's good. That's good. Um, back in, I guess, I guess, get, going back to '79 again. Um, is there any things you miss uh, from uh, those days uh, compared to today? Well, our first album in '79, yeah, it wasn't really a massive album. It was a mixture of different styles. Um, it was our second album in 1980, Wheels of Steel, that really went absolutely, uh, you know, platinum everywhere. Right. Um, so no, I don't. I don't really miss. Uh, I don't really miss that much. I mean, we had a wild time down the, back then. It was fantastic, but I don't think I miss it. You know, I think it was it was crazy times, but I don't think I miss it. No. Right, right. Was there crazy times compared backstage back then to compared to now? Well, it was just crazy. You know, we were flying around the planet doing TVs and, you know, things and just generally, uh, you know, living the life, really, of, uh, 
know, young rock band who who, who are making it big really quickly. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things. It's a fantastic feeling, but, um, you know, it's a bit crazy. Right, right. Um, Like when someone comes up to you and asks for your autograph, do you still get that same feeling or is it just a hassle to do now? No, no, if somebody comes up, I mean, I, I, I signed somebody's autograph yesterday in the lift in New York, so, you know, some guy came in, he went, oh, Biff Saxon, I was like, yeah, so, you know, we took a photograph, so a lot of it's now it's photographs, not autographs, Right. you know, it's, the, it's usually the, you know, the phone in front of us both and click, you know, so, Right. that's, that's the modern way, really. Right, right. How about, uh, like, your uh, rider for, say, you got an upcoming tour, is there anything special you ask for on your tour rider? No, not really. Not really. It's pretty, pretty standard stuff, really. Um, you know, we don't have. Uh, we have. We have quite a big selection of uh, of booze, and <laughs> you know, we have. We have basically we have uh, food cooked for us. You know, that's the main thing. Right. And we have. Uh, you know, like gallons of beer. You know, four or five bottles of nice wine. You know, maybe a bit of sambuca, maybe Jack Daniels, and that's it, really. It's pretty, pretty standard rock and roll rider. Right, right, right. Now, you also worked on Advertasia, uh, The Mystery of Time, the uh, rock opera CD that's coming out, uh, and you work with Tobias and uh, Bruce, Bruce Kulik and stuff like that. How was that working with all them, uh, you know, big stars? Well, Tobias came to UK, uh, and me and Tobias just worked in the studio on our own, so I didn't really get to meet anybody else. Um, so, yeah, I only had a couple of days free, so he came to Brighton in England, and... Uh, yeah, we spent a couple of days uh, doing doing my vocals, really. Right. I think we spent quite a lot of time going out for dinner and, and talking about the old times <laughs> and about four hours doing the album. But, you know, yeah, it worked out good. Cool, cool. Do you have any uh, else coming up in the, in the works that you'd like to talk about? I've just done a couple of songs for a Swiss band uh, called Nosbros. Nobros. Um a song called Heavy Metal Party and something else, I can't remember. Right. Or Three Horned Dragon. So that was pretty cool. Um, no, nothing much, really. We're just um, we're just working on a bit of unplugged stuff and a few more orchestrated tracks. But most of the time this year we're touring. Right, right. Now, uh, life on the road, is, is it a lot harder these days or is it um, just a basic? No, I, I think it's about the same, really. Uh-huh. I just think you have to, you know, you have to take it in in your stride, and like I said, you have to try and keep fit. You know, right, right. Keep yourself on an even trim. You know, with, with the basic days and stuff like that, do you ever really get to go home and relax? Uh, it seems like you're always on the road doing things. No, nah, it seems that way, but yeah, we we get quite a bit of time at home. I mean, I've just spent quite a long time at home last year, so uh, yeah, it just when you, you get really busy around the album time, right? You know. And you're in New York uh, promoting the CD. Did you get to see anything in New York when you're here? Uh, probably not. I probably won't do now. But I think I think Doug, the guitarist, with me, so I think he's been out a bit. But I've been around Times Square and you know over and past April, and I've been to Round Zero a couple of times. You know, so wrote a song about that called "Walking the Steel" on the new album. Right. So yeah. Cool, cool. Do you get get excited going back into the studio after all these years? Uh, I don't think I ever was excited because, it, you know, it, it's just really work, you know I mean? That's right. what we do, we write songs, so um, I don't really find going in the studio exciting. I mean, going on stage is exciting, but I think studio, it's good fun, but I wouldn't say it was exciting. Right, right, right. Uh, do you get the, you know, going back to the autographs and stuff like that, do you get to sign a lot of breasts out there or what? Do we get to sign a lot of what, sorry? <laughs> Brass titties. Yeah, we've done that quite a lot. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we, we do a lot of that when asked. I mean, mostly in Europe, it's too cold to get them out. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there might be a bit of that going on on the cruise ship, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we'll that would be fun. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. You know, so uh, congratulations once again on Sacrifice. It's a great CD. Our site gave it 4.5 stars out of 5. And um, actually, do you read reviews or... You know, yeah, we, we, I mean, our press agent sends us the reviews, and uh, we've got some fantastic ones in Europe so far. Great. And we've got some great chart positions as well, so, um, yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed, you know. I mean, um, I mean, America, is a, there's a lot of different, uh, millions of different radio stations and, you know, uh, internet um, 
sites really so I suppose we have to cover them all really and try and get um, people aware that the new album's out great great well congratulations on Sacrifice I wish you the best would you like to say anything in conclusion yeah uh, check out the album <clears throat> we'll try and get uh, get back to the States after summer and do some touring and uh, keep the faith thank you man bye bye okay bye <laughs>